My name is Michelle, a 39-year-old janitor. I've been working for a housekeeping company that serves corporate offices since I was 20. I'm a single woman in her late 30s, about to hit 20 years of service. The reason I chose this job was to care for my mother, who fell ill. We were a family of three, just my mother, brother, and me in a single-parent household. When my mother fell seriously ill, I had to drop out of vocational school and arrange time to accompany her to medical appointments. I chose this job only because it allowed me to secure time to care for my mother. Now I'm truly glad I landed here. My boss and colleagues are understanding of my situation and always interact with me warmly, calling me Michelle Sweetie. I do have some staff that work under me and they are also adorable. I thought there was no better workplace than this. My mother passed away when I was 25 and my brother was 19. It was around the time when fall ended and winter began. Shocked by the loss of my mother, I started to take more time off work. The company was about to enter their busiest season with our year-end deep cleaning. Despite the timing, my colleagues at the company reassured me, saying, it's okay, we'll wait for you to feel better. I appreciated their concern, but I just wanted to shut myself away. I wanted to go after my mother, but I had a younger brother I had to take care of out of pity for him who lost his mother before adulthood. I pulled myself together and managed to keep working. At the time, my brother was still in college. I looked out for him, paid for his school textbooks as he moved grades, and drove him back home on the days he got out of class late. When he got a job, I gave him a suit as a celebration gift. I had a meager income, but I worked hard, thinking of myself as a substitute for our mother. After my mother passed away, my brother started saying things like, why don't you quit being a janitor and why don't you get a better job? I think he was upset with my low income and our poor social standing. At the time, I wasn't in the best mental state to be able to change jobs, so it was very hard to hear those words. My coworkers at my job were the ones who kindly supported me throughout this. Later, my brother worked hard to find a job and secured a position at a large corporation. It was a well-known company whose name you frequently see and hear in TV commercials and online ads. My brother's initial salary was nearly twice my wage. His joy at that time was like a little boy who had received lots of New Year's money gifts. Look at this, sis. I surpassed you in just one month. Incredible. Check out this payslip. It's amazing, right? My brother was truly overjoyed and couldn't help but brag to others. Sis, quit your janitor job and get a good one like me. Hey, watch how you talk. I love my current job. Quit making excuses. Our salaries are no match. Well, I wish he could be more careful with his words. I was relieved that my brother's efforts had paid off. Sitting in front of my mother's portrait, I reported, My brother, your son is all grown up now. But my boastful younger brother, who was so proud of his place and his own company, was heading down a dark path. He was skilled at his work and always bragged about the praise he received from his boss. Even though he had just started working for the company, I heard he was picked to participate in a big project. As his sister, I was proud of him, but I noticed my brother making condescending remarks about his colleagues, and it only worsened as days passed. I'm doing well and getting recognition, but my peers, they're just slow to pick things up. If their incompetence drags my reputation down as well, it'd be unbearable. He would say such things without hesitation. It seemed more like he was looking down on the real world as a whole rather than just his workplace. If this continued, I knew it was going to hurt him big time. I took it upon myself to warn him about his attitude. I think all the new hires are about the same level, you know? You're all just starting out, I said, to which my brother replied, Wow, sis, you're pretty talkative for a janitor with a low-level education, and he sneered. Frustrated, I replied, Well, I've been in the workplace longer than you, so I know there isn't that much difference in people's abilities. Really? 
Do you have any college graduates at your cleaning company? Before you lecture me, why don't you tell them they've wasted their lives? And with that, my brother belittled me and went out for drinks. That kid, the workplace is probably going to hit him with reality soon. Despite my concerns, my brother's arrogance only worsened. It started with him feeling superior to me because his salary was higher than mine. This morphed into an incorrect self-perception of himself. He now believed that he was gifted, and it tweaked his personality. He became vocal and didn't hold back his criticism towards me. At first, I thought he was just excited about his new job, so I let it slide. However, gentle verbal warnings went over his head, so I scolded him in a serious tone, but unfortunately there was no change in his behavior. I began to lose confidence in myself as a sister, wondering if I'd failed to get involved with him in the right manner. Before I knew it, a few years had passed. I continued to work as a janitor. My brother seemed to be doing well and climbing the corporate ladder, but his contemptuous attitude towards others had significantly worsened. Then he moved in with his girlfriend and they got married. His wife also had an inflated sense of arrogance, which caused me stress. His wife was considerably younger than him, so to me it felt like she was from a completely different generation. The first conversation we had when my brother introduced me to her was, So you really are a janitor? Yes, I find it a fulfilling and enjoyable job. Really? Isn't it dirty? I couldn't stand it. It must smell bad. My brother, who was listening, chimed in, Right, it's unimaginable, isn't it? It's unsanitary, and she's not attractive. She doesn't have any money either. But what can I do? I'm related to her. Sorry about that. I was taken aback to hear this and don't remember much of what happened afterwards. After she left that day, I yelled at my brother, You were out of line. What do you mean, I am related to her, so it can't be helped? And what's up with her, too? Don't you dare judge people by their jobs or income. My brother, surprised by my sudden outburst, stammered but managed to retort, Shut up. You're a vocational school dropout, and I'm a college graduate. So is she. We can't help but look down on you. You earn less and have a bottom-tier job, so you're the one leading a loser life. With that, he stormed out of the house. I cried out of sadness and frustration. The reason I dropped out of vocational school was because of our mother's illness. My brother knew that, yet his remark was so hurtful. Yes, my income is modest, but I still managed to scrape together the tuition fee for my brother's education. I did my best to take up our late mother's role. I must have made a mistake in how I dealt with him. I looked at myself in the mirror while crying. I was bothered by the fact that he called me ugly. I have a face similar to my brother's. I'm neither beautiful nor cute, but I don't think I'm that ugly. But admittedly, I could do more in terms of self-care. If I paid a bit more attention to my looks and changed myself, would he see me differently? Well, even if I dulled myself up, it's unlikely my brother's personality would change. Rather, marrying a woman with similar morals probably only amplified his narcissism. While talking to my coworkers about this, I started to think that my relationship with my brother might be beyond repair. One day, I received a postcard from my brother and his wife. We've moved. I had no idea. Judging from the address, it seemed like a standalone house. What's this all about? They're so reserved, and they told me I would have thrown a celebration and even helped them move. I had something I wanted to discuss with them, too, so I decided to call him after a long time. Hello, I got your postcard. Ah. I could hear my brother's cheerful voice on the phone. It's amazing, right? A single-family house at this young age. Because I'm a fast tracker, it would be impossible if it weren't me, right? Yeah, amazing indeed. It was the usual bragging, but somehow I found it nostalgic and let my brother talk as much as he wanted. I brought up my matter after that. So I have something to talk to you about, too. Just the other day, my company got contracted to clean your office building. 
we might bump into each other occasionally. Good for you. Wouldn't get to step foot in such a big building otherwise, right? Good for you. He could have just ended there. There's one more thing. I got a boyfriend. What? Seriously? My brother raised his voice, sounding genuinely surprised. Yes, he's older and a wonderful man. After what you said, I started taking better care of my skin and such. He fell for me at first sight, I said jokingly. Well, then that's thanks to me, huh? Somehow he managed to take credit for this as well. Well, I wouldn't say you haven't played a part in it. I wanted to introduce my boyfriend to you. He's been eager to meet you, too. So would it be okay if we visited your place soon? We could also bring a housewarming gift. Casually mentioning this, he retorted, Eh, you're coming over. His previously cheerful tone suddenly darkened. I wondered what was going on. You do understand what your job is, don't you? Huh? Job? You mean my cleaning job? Listen, I've got a new house, which means it's clean, right? I don't want a filthy person like a janitor coming into my house. Excuse me. Is he saying that because janitors are filthy, he doesn't want one in his brand new house? I was confused. My mind went blank. Considering the dirty work you do, shouldn't you know how to refrain from visiting people's places? I'm sure your co-workers feel the same. You're out of line. That's rude. Apologize. With a blank mind, my blood started boiling in anger. I could feel my fury ready to explode. Was it common courtesy to stay away because my job is dirty? Rude. Apologize. What the hell? I couldn't contain myself and yelled out loud, You've got some nerve to disrespect people like that. This is unacceptable. I could have handled it if it were just about me, but he was mocking my colleagues too. I couldn't let this slide. I could tell my harsh words shocked my brother over the phone. He's always been quick to attack others, but when faced with retaliation, he stammers and falters. Do you genuinely believe that a person's worth is determined by their job? Now that's some real nonsense. Apologize to me right now. What? What the? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? I've had enough with you. How did you turn into such a scumbag? Mom would be heartbroken. Scumbag! The real scumbag is you. Your so-called boyfriend must be some good-for-nothing guy. You can't get a decent job. If he had any sense, he wouldn't even be talking to a cleaning lady. If you weren't my sister, I would never get involved with a dirty woman like you. If you weren't my brother, I would have left you in the dust a long time ago. I was gonna say that I'm cutting ties with you. Never contact me again. Oh, okay. Got it. Goodbye, then. We both said things to hurt each other. It was a petty argument, but neither of us was in the mood for a mature conversation. He tried to say something more, but I hung up on him. I prepared myself to sever ties with my brother. He is the only sibling I had in this world, but I couldn't stand him anymore because in my brother's eyes, I, as a janitor, have no basic human rights. Even though we are siblings, if our morals are this different, it's best for both of us to keep a distance from now on. I'll be fine. My brother is already a full-grown adult. This is our goodbye. I had come to terms with my feelings. Several months passed since I declared my severance for my brother. By some twist of fate, I was assigned to clean the office building where my brother worked. I suppose my boss was trying to be considerate, but I really couldn't stand it. But my creed is to do the best at the work I've been assigned. Suppressing my feelings, I headed to my brother's company. The building was massive and spacious. With such a broad space, I should be able to avoid running into my brother. Even if we did meet, he probably wouldn't recognize me. Feeling slightly relieved at that thought, I switched my focus to cleaning, pushing my cart filled with cleaning supplies. It was that afternoon. While mopping the floor, I noticed a group of about five men standing by the vending machine, sipping canned coffee and talking. 
I really am sorry for the inconvenience caused. Enough is enough. How many years have you been with us? Consult and report before things get to a point where the whole team has to clean up your mess. Yes, sir. It's happened three times just this quarter. I am sorry, sir. Oh, it looks like the guy apologizing messed up and they all had to band together to make up for it. Good job, guys. While harboring such feelings, I kept mopping without looking in their direction. While your peers have already become team leaders, some even managers, you need to step up your game. I'm sorry. Oh, those are some harsh words. I wish they'd let him off the hook soon. I want to mop from here all the way down the hallway on the other side, but they're in the way. After scolding the man who had apparently made a mistake once again, they all returned to the office. When the group passed by me, I noticed a familiar face. My brother. The one who had messed up and was being scolded was my brother. No way, my brother also saw me froze for a minute and then went completely pale. But without saying a word to me, he quickly followed his team and left. During the rest of my shift, my mind kept drifting back to my brother. He was supposed to be the fastest rising among his colleagues, but the brother I saw earlier looked nothing but a burden to the company, a straggler. He looked like an employee who constantly made mistakes at work and was always apologizing to the concerned parties. It was an intuition I had developed from witnessing various human relationships in corporate structure for over years working as a janitor. His claim of being a competent individual was just his vanity. He must have been doing well in the beginning, at least. As I suspected, he might have been complacent and overtaken by his colleagues, tripped up when he least expected it. I think it's inevitable given his character. He looks down on others without any hesitation, but there's no need to worry about him. My brother wouldn't need to rely on me. After all, we're strangers who've cut ties. After a few days of learning the truth, I saw my brother again. While cleaning the main lobby, my brother came down the elevator with someone. Darn, I left the bag with the samples upstairs. Um, I'll go get it. You can wait here, sir. No need, I'll go. You're useless anyway, but when you get promoted, you take care of me, okay? Not again, sir. I told you I'll go get it. The man who appeared to be his junior hopped back on the elevator to get his forgotten item. Ironic how he was nasty to me given his past claims of being competent. I watched my brother shrinking in the corner of the lobby from afar, feeling pity. As I wiped the leaves of the lobby's decorative plants with these thoughts in mind, my senior colleague who was cleaning the area with me quietly approached. Hey, isn't that your brother? Aha, uh -huh, yes. Seems like he messed up. Let's just leave him be, okay? My senior colleague, looking worriedly at my brother, returned to her cleaning duties. Whether bothered by our sympathetic gaze, my brother, who had been shrunk in the corner, sprang up and marched over to me. Hey, janitor, what are you doing? I'm cleaning. No, I mean, why are you here? I'm working. With my current reply, my brother became visibly angry and raised his voice. Don't you dare tell my wife that I look pathetic at work. You got that. His workplace frustrations seemed to be vented on me. The gazes of those around us gathered on my loudly ranting brother. Out of concern for the onlookers, I whispered, You're trying. Shut up. Don't you, a lowly educated person, order me around? People are watching. People are watching. Oh, dear brother, please, can you please be quiet? As I attempted to calm him down by holding his hand, he recoiled. Ew, you're filthy. Don't touch me. He continued to aggressively wipe the part I touched and continued his string of insults. You're threatening me, aren't you? You want money, right? How much do you want me to cough up? Threaten? Money? What are you talking about? I asked, dumbfounded. I told you not to tell my wife. Get it already, you idiot. Oh, that's what this is about. Constant mistakes at work or falling behind the corporate ladder. 
Which one do you not want me to tell? Both, obviously. He was genuinely scared I might spill the beans about his professional demeanor to his wife. Wait, you're even lying to your own wife. Shut up. No garbage like you should speak garbage. What on earth? He didn't care about the eyes around us. He just kept belittling me. The stress from his job must be intense. He must feel better by looking down on me. I'm at some punching bag for you to mess with. Just then, a voice came from behind. That's rude to the cleaning staff. Shut up, huh? Who are you? Finally noticing the abnormality around him, my brother started to look around. Perhaps he couldn't stand my brother's rudeness any longer. A man stepped out from the crowd. A well-dressed man in a suit, gray-haired and elderly. His social status was obvious. Seeing this man, my brother started to panic. The man stood beside me and gently placed a hand on my back. Dirty idiot, such intolerable slurs. Apologize to her right now. Huh? But she's my sister. We're just having a family squabble. To my brother, who was flustered and trying to gloss over it, I interjected. I thought you said you cut ties with me. Shut up. My brother showed his dual nature, acting humble towards the gray-haired man while aggressively addressing me. In response to such exchanges, the man chimed in. If it's a family issue, it concerns me as well. Huh. Pleased to meet you. I'm the gentleman dating your sister. What? He was surprised. I'm the executive vice president of the subsidiary that your company is seconding. I'm also a board member of your company. I'm sorry we didn't have a chance to introduce ourselves the other day. What? 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 My brother was in a state of panic, completely out of his depth with what was going on. Feeling a bit awkward, I shot my boyfriend a side eye. You didn't really have to step in just now. If not now, then when? Imitating a popular TV MC, he said with a warm smile. Hey, sis, is that really true? My little brother was terrified, understandably so, since the man standing in front of him was an executive at his own company. Indeed, when we were contracted for cleaning this building, I'd accompanied our CEO. He who was in charge of the contract was interested in me. No, that's a lie. It's the truth. During the contract signing, I instantly fell for her, who was explaining the details on behalf of a CEO who couldn't do it well, and I asked her out. A wave of gasps and murmurs echoed through the lobby. How embarrassing. Agar, you said he's no decent man if he's dating a cleaning lady. I bet he doesn't even have a solid job when talking about me. I didn't say that. Regardless of whether you said that or not, I demand an apology for the insults you said to your sister. My brother had no choice but to listen, to each weighty word from him turning pale. You're Michelle's brother, aren't you? You shouldn't worry your sister too much. At some point, my senior cleaner had come over and colleagues from other floors were gathering too. My brother was utterly cornered, Looking defeated, my brother could barely stand as he bowed his head towards me. I'm sorry. He was in despair. His voice was small, filled with despair, devoid of any vigor or emotion. Afterwards, my brother was transferred to a remote branch of a subsidiary company. For the sake of my boyfriend's honor, let me clarify that he had no involvement in my brother's transfer. My brother panicked when his co-workers heard his repeated insults towards me and his fear of his wife finding out about his mess at the office, causing him to make a series of mistakes at work. It seems like he's completely dropped off the fast track to promotion. His wife came crying to me when she found out about his transfer. You're dating an executive from my husband's company, aren't you? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Please bring my husband back to the head office, she begged. Of course, my answer was a firm no. Her plea fell on deaf ears. Unable to pay the mortgage with his reduced salary after the transfer, it looks like they'll have to let go of their newly built home. 
I have no interest in whatever happens to my brother and his wife afterwards, and I got married to my boyfriend. We're living happily in our newly built home. I'm still working as a cleaner, but I'm now less out in the work field because I've become the president of the cleaning company, the company I've always been working for. The president retired, and I was nominated as a successor. I couldn't possibly be a president. I had a lot of worries, but I decided to give it my all for the company I love. No matter what anyone says, I plan to continue doing the job I love for the company I love with my head held high.